What I want to talk about today are um, um, feelings that historically have been extraordinarily discounted in us and, is, um, and uh, to talk about them not as negative experiences or failures or something that we need to learn how to suppress or something that's considered uh, useless. But I want to talk about feelings from the standpoint of what they're there to give us, what they can do for us, what they can take us to. Not for the sake of having feelings, but feelings as tools that can, we can learn how to use for what they can do for us. <clears throat> uh, the basic premise of everything we're talking about is that you and I are created as emotional and spiritual creatures. Created to do one thing in this life, and it's live fully. And the thing is that human beings are incapable of living fully unless they're actually living fully in relationship with ourselves, with others, and with God. And that living fully is actually being known and uh, being transparent in, in a really genuine way with those people we want to be in relationship with, not with those we don't. But authentic and truthful, and those things are re the re revealing of the emotional and spiritual substance and content of who we really are. There's a, there's a scripture in the King James Version of the Bible, it's for Proverbs 23, 7, and it says, as a man, as a human being, thinks in his, her heart, so is the man. So the being of who we really are is expressed of with the, the revealing of what's really happening inside of us. So not only is, does it express uh, where we really are, and it expresses who we really are when we talk about through the language of our hearts, it also expresses how we're made. Because <clears throat> human beings are made in a very specific way, just like orange trees grow oranges, slugs go and eat geranium leaves, possums, you know, end up hanging out in the middle of a highway and getting run over. I mean, they're just, it, it's just things are made like they're made, which we'll talk about too, like how things are made. And so the, the heart expresses. Now what's amazing is that in our uh, century, in our generation, and this goes all the way back too, is that we've been saying for years now, in fact, I was talking to a man last night who, who, who quoted that scripture and quoted it like this. Uh, and he's heard it at church, he's heard it in people, he's heard it on the news, he's heard it from coaches, he's heard it for every, as a man thinks, so is the man, which is not the truth. It's as a man thinks in his heart, so is the man. And his ability to connect with life uh, is directly related to how well he can articulate what the truth is that's happening inside of him. Now the truth about us ultimately is our emotional and spiritual substance. And the ability to articulate is what, what makes us capable of living fully in relationship with others. Now the thing is we're made in a certain way, which we'll talk about some today, but mainly we're going to focus on just the feelings themselves. <clears throat> 